Hello everyone and welcome back to the Littlest Floor Shop of Horrors and we are here with Amaryllis Foxglove, our wonderful vampirous romantic who is supposed to be inside out of the out of the sun, hopefully not burning herself to death. She decided to come outside to study the Vampirica Volume 1 so that she could try to gain a little bit more of her vampire skill. Amaryllis, get inside. If she has her vampire energy go down too far while she's outside in the sun, then she's going to die. So I have no idea what got into this girl. Get inside, you silly thing. Fly in as a bat so you can move even faster. But look at that vampire energy. It's just dropping like a rock you can't come out yet she really wants to be able to be outdoors uh during the day clearly she doesn't have enough respect for herself stay inside you're gonna die <laughs> yet to uh really tolerate the fact that there's a big beautiful world full of all of the plants that she is growing which include a lot of the chrysanthemums and a lot of the uh wolfsbane that she collected from her grandmother's home and we do want to have her working in her garden during the day but she hasn't earned the ability to be outdoors during night yet oh i think she can actually be around garlic now though oh that would be so fun and at the same time i would really love if she had the vampiric charm so that she could make new rhizomes attractive uh, or attracted to her but I think especially after finding her just walking out into the sun on her own we're going to start working on the track where she can get sun resistance so I'm going to give her the ability to have garlic immunity and then I think she has to have um yeah, I definitely think she has to have one of these weaknesses in order to continue on up and become a prime vampire at some point. So all of these are locked until I give her a weakness. So some of the weaknesses include withered stomach, amaryllis vomits when eating human food, putting on the appearance of a normal sim will be less practical, and amaryllis will become nauseous and vomit when eating normal food. What's more important, the ruse or her digestion? There's also guilty drinker, become guilty when drinking from Sims without permission. Too much empathy from the prey means the Amaryllis will be stressed when drinking from unwilling prey. Uh, that doesn't really sound like her because she did drink from that Johnny guy a few days ago and she didn't mind at all. And then we also have uncontrollable hissing, which sounds hilarious. Amaryllis will be occasion will occasionally disgust others by hissing uncontrollably. Amaryllis's social life may take time to dip from may take unexpected dips from time to time due to her uncontrollable hissing. It's socially odd and contains a large degree of saliva. Get control of it. Ew, saliva. No. All right, then there's sloppy drinker. Amaryllis gains less thirst when drinking. Unfortunately, Amaryllis has a drinking problem. She drinks from her prey sloppily, which leads to excess. And and well, it just takes much longer to satisfy thirst. And I don't know, she's kind of very tidy. I think that she really likes to be uh, not like mm, snobby elegant, but she likes to be kind of elegant in a classic tidy way. So I don't think we'll give her that one. And then we won't get thin skin because I do want her to be able to go outside. So I think we're going to give her the weakness of withered stomach. And hopefully that will make it so that we can get up to like manipulate life spirit and sun resistance in the future. But probably the next thing we'll get is vampiric charm. So let's go ahead and give her those abilities. And then she has actually set up her shop. So last time we got her shop decked out, I thought it would take me a lot longer to buy all of the various plants that I wanted to uh to like fill it up i thought oh all of the plants because a lot of the plants that are in the decorative category even with the amazing mods that i have installed are still pretty like cheap like 25 dollars here you know 30 there 50 here but when you add them up really quickly <laughs> i blew through the money that she had really fast so we put all these plants up for sale i really like all that we picked i did a little speed build of like picking out plants last time and we will definitely be doing in the future when she has some more money to start messing around with we will be adding some plants from this category as well uh, oh there's some starter grow fruit over here and a scraggly tree we could sell scraggly trees to people if we wanted to but we'll be picking some of these plants like the pointed ferns oh so lovely all of these beautiful pieces we can put out and have her just sell some of these alien flower nice some of my uh some of my unlocked pieces that we have i really need them to be like dark plants though i really need her to keep to the theme of like you know purples those kinds of colors we could sell some irises i think there's some darker irises here like the dark purple ones we can have sims come and buy 
these. Uh, in fact, we might put some like the rose bushes. I would really love to have some more rose bushes. There's a red, red shrub. We have a whole bunch of garden pots we could put things into. Um, wow, some of these are really expensive. So if she could manage to sell like some of the Passions Kiss or maybe the purple perennial flower, they're actually kind of pricey. I didn't realize that these these guys were so expensive, but hey, if she could have like a little greenhouse garden line um, where she sells these types of plants, that wouldn't be too bad. Hydrangeas and the rose bushes. Baby's bottoms rose bush. Oh my gosh, that's kind of hilarious. And then there's the literal rose. This is actually an import from another one of the Sims games that is uh, that I downloaded. I don't remember where from because if they don't include it in the description, I totally forget. So I just searched like everywhere I could find some oh look at those roses those are beautiful yeah we should definitely sell some of these roses too but everywhere I could find like something to be able to to download plant wise I went for it so we'll line up some of those roses at the back can I fit any more back here I think I can but it would have to be with move or with like a I'm not sure if the Sims could reach it if I have to use the move objects on cheat. So I have to be very, very careful about using that cheat or else all of a sudden we can't reach things. Um, and then is there the white rose bush? I can't get the red flowers anymore, but we should have, oh, here's the red, red rose bush. There we go. So we could have her selling some roses and I wonder if I could like put some pots down. I wonder if Sims, cause I have these really awesome picture emobi, picture emobay.tumblr.com amazing pots i love these you may be going siri what the heck you're talking about like plant pots how is that exciting they're amazing you guys they come in so many different colors look at all these colors we have to pick from perfect 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 for when you are doing a darker garden like this i really love this so i need to find let's see i'm gonna go with this nice garden pot and we will recolor it and i'm gonna see if we can sell the roses even if we have them in garden pots with move objects on uh, I can't see move objects on dun, 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 yay and we're gonna see if we can sell these roses and we'll say they're just roses from like the actual rose bushes that we have and look at this I can come over and have so many colors to pick from it's beautiful um we'll go ahead and make them look like little little uh concrete little like gravestone planters because I think those look pretty cool and then actually I wonder how much money do I have left not enough but I was thinking we could even try to sell some of these dead roses so we'll see if we can sell these and if sims will be able to reach them uh, so we're gonna set these for sale as well very nice very nice and so now we have a whole bunch of things for sale in our store and we've never opened our store up before uh and we've never even tried to run the cash register so this might be kind of interesting so let's go ahead and open up the store and just see how it goes it's going to be the first time we've ever had the store open and then oh that's the cosplay club that i forgot we were in <laughs> we'll have to do something with them at some point all right open for business the little florist shop has been open for uh, oh, and there's one of my, there's one of my random wolf Spain that I accidentally put on the ground. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and grab that. And then I wonder what I should have her do while we wait. Uh, she wants to go upstairs and practice writing. Writing? Do you want to write a story or something? It's our first customer. It's our very first customer. I'm so excited. She looks like a very interesting woman who's into new agey stuff. So this is perfect for her. What do you think, ma'am? We should come over, maybe welcome her. Uh, definitely. Um, you know what we're going to have to do, I think? Give me just a second. We're going to change up the interior really fast so that I can actually set it so that the guests don't wander all the way back there. I don't have enough money. <laughs> no. So close and yet so far. Let's try selling those pieces. Do I have enough money now? How much money do I need to have a door so that people don't just walk into my house like this? I need 400. Oh, just when I got all the roses set up and everything and I still don't have enough money. This is very awkward. Suddenly I'm having to like sell things all over again. Can I just like directly sell this little guy? Chef Gino? And then maybe directly sell the my sims? Okay, I directly sold the my sims which actually helps the appearance of the store. And now I can go ahead and put this down. Whoops, and I grabbed some of the grass and I didn't mean to. No, I'm just, I'm ripping up my yard without meaning to, just trying to click the live button again. All right, and can I click on lock door for everyone but household members, please? 
and stopped her in her tracks. Nice. So I don't know. She can go out into the garden if she wants to. Um, but oh, she just went the other direction. That's not fair. Oh no. Okay, we'll greet customer. Okay, and then lock door for everyone but household members. Get out of there, woman. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to get her out of my house. <laughs> no, you guys aren't allowed to come in here. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, lock door for everyone but Amaryllis. Seriously, dude. There, now you have to go back inside. Everyone was headed inside to go upstairs. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Okay, let's see. I need to get I need to get this woman. Okay, we're gonna ask her we're gonna have to ask her to leave, even though she's our first customer. And then I guess I'm gonna oh dang it. All right. It looks like we're gonna have to uh, unlock the door and let all of the guests wander around our house because I forgot to lock doors. But now we know how important it is. All right, and Amaryllis, why don't we go ahead? Can we show item to some like can we show her an item or something? Maybe she's saying she's having trouble sleeping. We don't really have a potion or anything like that. Let's discuss hey, shopping sword. preferences. I really want this woman. She's just window shopping, so let's see. This customer is just looking around. Let them know about your merchandise to get them interested in buying. I wonder if that's what the blue icon over their heads were. Oh, thank goodness they are out of here. Locked door for everybody but household members. Please. In fact, don't, don't, if we're gonna, we're gonna unlock it again. Locked door for everybody but Amaryllis. So, no, nobody can use that door. That's my door. All right, and then we're gonna go here. And now everybody's outside which is not gonna help. So, oh good, and she came back inside. There's so many people here already. Um, can we like convince her? Can we do anything customer-wise with her? Ask about her day, maybe? Uh, goodbye? Okay, she's leaving. All right, no, please, uh, here, how about, ask about price range? Come on, doesn't somebody actually, they're all just looky-loos because they've heard rumors about what the store is like and it's a graveyard, now it's finally reopened. Look, see, they're talking about the graveyard. They're talking about the fact that this place is a graveyard. This is so cool. They're like, I thought this house was supposed to be haunted. So, and it is supposed to be haunted. I don't know if it's ever going to do anything, but let's answer his questions. Let's discuss his shopping preferences. He says he's just window shopping. Come on, you guys, don't be, don't just be looky-loos. We need to sell some stuff. Um... Let's see. Hmm. I guess we could use... Oh, look, there's retail. Retail options. And we'll discuss shopping preferences again. Maybe I could get to know his personality a little bit. So we'll try detecting his personality and seeing if that helps us out. Come on, buddy. I'm, I'm kind of desperate here. Let's see. He's a materialistic bro who hates children. <laughs> okay, Lawrence. Good to know that about you. All right. Well, let's try the 10 table option. Maybe we can convince people to come over here and we can convince them to uh, buy from this table. Even if they're not going to buy like in other ways. So let's see. We're going to try chatting. Receptive to sales pitch. Nice. So I wonder how we can convince them a sales pitch. Maybe he's going to come on over. Is he looking at our table? Maybe he's gonna he's gonna snag something from the table. Nice. We're answering his questions. So we'll have to see how things go. We have a lot of people coming just to hang out. We need to convince them to come inside somehow. Maybe we need something entertaining like vampire fish to look at. We could probably get like a little fish tank set up somewhere and show things off that way. Um, so nobody's coming to the table. Start yard sale. There we go. That's how we could get it going to try to convince people to come and like shop over here. Maybe All right, so we'll just leave that be and then we can also suggest options Maybe enthuse about store. Oh This this is a desperate attempt Just to get our very first sale going <laughs> Hopefully we can manage all of these all right, and we've got some other people coming over. Look at all these people! So many looky-loos, and yet nobody buying anything in our store yet. Or even from, like, the sales table yet. All right, maybe he'll buy something. Can I show anything to him? Let's see. Offer information. Is this lady coming over to the table? Let's see. I think she's considering buying something from my table. 
from Carl no, Lee. she's just standing there and talking. She has green dyed hair though, so I like her. There's so many people here. Oh my gosh. Please, somebody buy something. I'm begging you. Is this guy gonna come over and buy something? Are you guys all just going to look? It, do I do I need to like do I need to have some sort of perk so I can suggest items to somebody? I could have sworn you could suggest items. Everything is for sale. Everything's for sale, please. Please. Oh, you! You look like you're thinking about a sale. Okay, let's go over and greet that customer. He looks like he's looking for a sale. Maybe I have it marked up too high. Okay, let's stop chatting and let's start. I guess the tending table isn't going to work here. So we'll have to set up the tables in a different way. Darn, I guess we're just going to have to set it manually when I want to sell harvestables. And we're just going to have to really work to be able to get that like instant restocking skill. That's going to take forever, but it'll really be worth it, I think. All right, so let's try to pitch some sales. Come on, greet customer. He actually is interested in something. Go greet the man, please. All right, this guy looks like he's thinking about something. Come on, come on, greet the customers for crying out loud. Oh my gosh, let's try answering his questions. I've never really tried running a store before, so this is Amaryllis's very first very painful day trying to run her shop. So maybe we need some advice. We'll try greeting customers. This guy seems really receptive to buying things. We'll try answering questions they have. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh, this person. Oh my gosh, Josephine. Josephine, I love you. Josephine looks like she's actually considering a sale. Hurry, go over and... No, no, it's not Josephine. Okay, Lawrence. Lawrence is actually considering a sale. Go enthuse about the store to Lawrence. Please, Lawrence. What are you going to buy? What are you going to buy? What are you going to buy? Our very first item. I'm begging you. All right, come on. Get over to Lawrence. There's too many people. Everybody's just here to look about the graveyard. And nobody's taking it seriously. All right, come on, Lawrence. Come on. Yes! What choice? What value? I'm ready to buy. I'm ready to buy when you get a chance to ring up. Oh my gosh. Yes, we finally have the ability. Oh, he's going to buy something. Okay, so how do I how do I come over and ring him up? Like, how does that happen? Uh, ring up customer. Let's go over and ring him up. So you click on him once he has the little icon above his head then. M most of you guys probably already know how this works. I've just never tried this before, so it's very exciting for me. Can she just ring him up right here? We don't even have to take him over to the cash register? So what's the cash register here for then? Is something blocking it and that's why we can't do anything? Wow, so she literally just like... <gasps> Lawrence! Lawrence! So that's gonna earn you a flirty moment from us. Oh my gosh, I think she's going to be so enthusiastic and so thrilled to have somebody have actually bought something. And I think Lawrence, he's in the cosplay club. I think he's actually trying to, um, we'll do heartfelt compliment. Lawrence, I love you. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. Let's offer him a rose because she would just be so excited, like a complimentary rose. Not even realizing that it's like a human flirty thing, per se. Well, she knows that. Who am I lying? She's a serial romantic. But I think she's just thrilled because somebody finally, 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 finally bought something in her store. So now he's headed out. Oh my gosh. We sold our very first item, you guys. We have a little bit of income. It's not very much. It's $95 that we've got right now. 93 in sales profit, apparently. But we have something sold. I'm so happy about that. Okay. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought, by the way. Uh, especially because her moods are kind of dropping as time goes on and she needs to work on restoring her vampire energy. But let's go ahead, discuss shopping preferences. Um, see what else we can get done here. Also, this guy looks like he's considering some sales. There's even a kid here. Greek customer. Maybe we should hire... Like, we don't have any money to right now. But maybe we should definitely hire somebody to be able to come on in and take care of things. And it looks like Lawrence is just really, like, flirting with us. I think that he's just really excited because he's from the cosplay club. And he's heard about this awesome gothic girl who joined the cosplay club. And she dresses like a vampire. And she actually, like, lives... She ends up living in a graveyard. So he got really excited to come meet her. But... 
<laughs> Lawrence, I'm going to love you forever simply because you happen to be one of our first customers. And we're going to greet some of these guys. I really just need to focus on some of them, I think. Like, this guy looks like he's about to buy something. So let's come over, answer some questions he may have. Look at everybody. They are thinking about coming on in. How did you get over there? You, you, how did you get over here, sir? Johnny, how did Johnny get over there? Who knows? So many new people. What choice, what value? I'm ready to uh, buy when you're ready to ring me up. All right, so we'll ring him up too. And also, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that apparently I'm just going to sell this whole kit and caboodle. And I'm going to have to find a different way to put up harvestables. How did this table get so filthy? We just got this table. Why is it totally filthy? What happened? Oh my gosh. We'll have to clean that. Oh my gosh, this place is so filthy already. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. And yeah, we're going to have to set up like a new way to, to, to show off the collectibles. But oh my goodness gracious, this is getting very interesting. This is going to be really fun. Who's ready to be rung up? Okay, let's ring him up. Come here, my friend. I'm trying to answer questions for other people. I'm trying to sell to this person. All right, I want to ring this guy up like immediately so I can make a little bit of profit. This is a really popular shop. <gasps> Look, and it's Janelle. Janelle. Let's sell her something. I definitely want to sell Janelle something because I'm so excited to see her. And then we'll brighten her day. Maybe heartfelt compliment. There's so much going on. We're trying to sell to all these people. What is this guy going to buy? Oh my gosh, and this girl is like ready to buy something. He bought something. We're not a complete failure. I'm so happy. There's so many people here. Wow. Okay. Uh, collect a snow globe. <laughs> uh, you didn't strike me as a collectible type amaryllis, but we'll take care of that. All right. And we're going to have to ring up this customer too. I wonder why nobody is going over to the, um, the cash register, but I don't really have a problem with that right now, I guess. Maybe it's because stuff was blocking the cash register and maybe the cash register is like on the wrong type of the wrong type of setting. People are like taking pictures here. I don't take pictures of this stuff because it's really nasty. We don't want to be chatting with multiple people at once when we're trying to run the store. Somebody wants to pick a fight here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. All right, ma'am. I am more than happy to get your sale done. We definitely need some perks so that we can sell things faster. This is amazing. Amaryllis is just like overwhelmed with how many people there are to tend to. It must smell really good with so many people here. Oh my gosh, and now somebody else is ready to buy something. Oh my gosh. All right, we sold more stuff. Wow, the kitchen shaker is being sold. And Amaryllis is like ready to browse the web. She is a little overwhelmed with all of this. He's ready to be rung up. All right, so clearly, you guys, we're actually having a bit of profit come on in. I'm really happy about that. It seems like everybody is pretty content with uh, the things that they can choose from. A lot of people are ready. Come on, come on, ring up customer. I think that some people are trying to get to the cash register. And for some reason, they're just not able to reach it. Like this one girl is really confused. We may have to... Everybody's really into this really 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 into this little kitchen piece right here so we'll have to see but all right so i think we can actually run a semi-successful shop we're slowly but surely building up the perk points um definitely selling a few of our planters the place is a mess somehow i have no idea how this has happened there's sims merging into one another this is kind of amazing everybody is really into this plant pot but i think i need to move it because they can't reach it very well we have a whole bunch of business funds uh we've had the store open for like seven hours perk points we can get the very first simolonian we can get the provocative pedestal which is a new pedestal that we can put various items for sale on we could get a stunning sign in the future register of tomorrow um and that would be for a new store super floors surplus the cost of restocking items will be reduced for 12 hours we can have employees uh faster restocking faster checkouts which would be really nice i wonder why we're not getting anybody checked out on this maybe it's just the wrong 
set up. Maybe it needs to be just like a normal countertop in order to check people out. But all right, so this has been really busy. I think Amaryllis is ready to close the shop for now. We have a net profit of 500 and um, 548 simoleons, which is not bad if you ask me. We've got a lot of stuff we need to do, a lot of stuff we need to clean. Apparently he's a vampire, this, this kid, or he's like a cosplay kid. Is he a vampire? Or maybe he just likes to pretend he's a vampire and that's why they invited us into the cosplay shop, which is pretty hilarious. These two are having some issues. So we'll definitely have to figure out what's going on with Janelle. We're gonna set this for not sell. And there, that fixed it. So now they're headed out. All right. All right. And Amaryllis has to clean up shop after her very first day of running her store. And that is so cool. And we will have to restock some items though. And we'll actually see how much profit we made. I think in the long run, the vast amounts of profit that she will make are actually going to be from the harvestables that she is going to grow, from the herbalism things that she can work on. Uh, she's feeling really tense from having to clean. I bet she wants to hire a maid of some kind instead, which would be kind of cool. But we'll have to see how much profit she actually made after she restocks the shop. And we'll just work on building up those perk points so we can do instant restocking in the future too. That would be really nice. But we met a whole bunch of new, new people in town. There's a ton of them running around now. I think Amaryllis is feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of the scents and everything that she smelled. And she wants to work on building her vampire energy. She wants to work on having some fun. So I think we may actually go on a date next time we might ask Janelle out on a date or even Lawrence out on a date we would don't really want to pretend like maybe date Lawrence long run but we are a serial romantic so I could see how she would want to and actually have to if she doesn't want to end up killing Janelle from the sheer amount of like feeding she has to do to survive she would probably want to have multiple people that she could call over for a feeding so we'll have to see how that goes all right but successful shop run I'm really, really interested to see how much money she actually has left after we finish restocking everything. And we do need to continue taking care of the garden and making sure that the garden continues to grow because I have a feeling that will actually be where the vast majority of funds comes from once we start getting some perfect plants. And yes, I do know there's perfect plants in the garden, like over here, but that just totally takes away the entire oomph of trying to do the challenge yourself. So we'll be trying to collect up the plants. Uh, I'll probably replace place this garden with a different kind of low-key garden that doesn't have like perfect varieties of all the plants next time and we'll go on a nice date we'll go on a nice date and we will also let poor Johnny out <laughs> in fact Johnny's like trapped inside so um I kind of feel like can we do anything with him we kind of can. Can I come over and just like oh we can't drink his plasma now he's stalking us because he has because he has uh, had us drink plasma from him before. So I don't know how we got in our house, but we'll have to question him about that. And yeah, he's stinky. We didn't kidnap you, Johnny. You can go home. Like you can get out of here. Oh, and you can actually pretend to bite. That's adorable. That's adorable. All right. So it seems like Johnny has a crush on us and he's sticking around now that he knows where we happen to work. So lots of little stories starting to emerge. The last piece almost done how much more come on restock it and she's done restocking and now we have 706 simoleons left so not bad we did end up selling an entire retail stall i do have to remember that that is probably where some of those funds went but not bad and we can start adding in more plants for amaryllis to sell and we can restock those roses that i had to get rid of out here and i'm really excited to see as her shop continues to grow if she's able to afford decorating her home with various things making it more comfortable to invite over guests making it more more comfortable to maybe have dates here and I'm really happy that Amaryllis has had a chance to run her little store so I will see you guys next time bye bye